Hi everybody, today we're going to be going over a topic that is of incredible use, especially if you live in an area with a winter that sees appreciable amounts of snow, but surprisingly few people take it upon themselves to do, and that's changing the wheels on your car, specifically for the Mark V and Mark VI variants of the GTI. Luckily for us VW owners, our cars come well equipped for the job. In the back of your golf hatchback, you will find an emergency jack. It is called this because it is not to be considered substantial enough to support the car over your head while doing other jobs. However, it is the perfect tool for changing your wheels. You've got this metal clip tool that will come in handy for removing the anti-theft plastic lug covers, a screwdriver, and a key for the locking lug bolt on each wheel of the car. And finally, they give you a wrench for the lug bolts. Oh, and a spare tire. How thoughtful. What you will need to provide yourself is a torque wrench and a 17mm socket, preferably extended to avoid coming in contact with the wheels or vehicle. I also like to have some work gloves. As previously mentioned, we're going to be putting on our winter tires and wheels. What is important to note about aftermarket wheels is you will need to ensure you have the right lug bolt length and seat pattern for the wheel. The stock GTI wheels, as do most Volkswagens, have a ball seat lug, and our specific aftermarket wheels are cone seat. If you are changing a flat tire to a spare, use the ball seat lugs already on the vehicle. Okay, now let's change some wheels. First step is to properly get your emergency jack in place. Both near the front and back wheels, there is a small arrow shape in the plastic side skirt that points to a thicker portion of the subframe underneath the vehicle. This is where you seat the jack. The jack should be perfectly perpendicular to the vehicle and seat right in the notch as so. Next, you're going to crank the jack carefully up to a height that just barely lifts the wheel off the ground. This will allow you to easily remove and replace the wheel once the lugs are undone. Now remove the lugs one by one by cranking counterclockwise, either with the torque wrench or VW provided wrench. Once these are all undone, the wheel should easily pull off the hub. When putting the new wheel on, it will come in handy to have the first lug bolt and screwdriver ready. Once you get the wheel lined up on the hub, you can use the back side of the screwdriver to put the first lug in to hold the wheel in place. Now we are going to tune our torque wrench to 89 foot-pounds, the VW recommended spec, and gently tighten the lug bolts back on uh, in a star pattern. Or in other words, you are going to tighten every other bolt as you go around. Because there are an odd number of bolts, you tighten every bolt by following this pattern. You want to add a little torque to each bolt at a time in this pattern to ensure the wheel sits flush on the hub. Once each lug gives you the torque wrench click sound, signifying that it has been sufficiently fastened, you are ready to lower the vehicle back down and move on to the next wheel. One thing I want to point out is how to remove a stuck wheel spacer. On my GTI, I have spacers in the front and back to slightly widen the stance of the vehicle. Due to the pressure and rust buildup, these can easily adhere to the wheel hub. One easy way I like to get them unstuck is by sticking a lug bolt or screwdriver in each of the lug holes and working it back and forth with some lateral pressure. As I do this, I pull the spacer toward me, working my way all the way around until they come off. Last step is to top off your air pressure. If you're using wheels that have been sitting around for a season, they're most certainly going to be below. 38 PSI is recommended for the GTI. And now you've got yourself a refreshed looking vehicle. Schwab.